hey guys, we are going to do two-step equations. Now, I gave you a worksheet. You can do those questions or you can do these questions on a piece of notebook paper. Now, some of us notice that um, there's a, a pencil here, right? You notice this? You're like, oh, wait, that's interesting, right? Um, so uh, I'm going to actually do these questions using the pencil pad. And then um, you can write these notes on your thing and then you'll be ready for J4. Okay, so let's do it. So I have an equation, S, hmm, is it gonna write? It doesn't wanna write, it wants to use it. Okay, there we go. S plus five divided by three equals two. So what if I multiplied, um, I see division, so I'm gonna multiply, it's not perfect, multiply by three on both sides. All right? So on this side of the equation, I get six. On this side, uh, three divided by three would go away, right? So in my numerator, I have, let's erase this, just get this out of the way. Okay, so on my numerator on my left side, I still have s plus five. On this side, we have six. All right, so I'm gonna subtract five on both sides and we get s is one. So we type one. Yeah. Okay, so the, that was right. I just didn't type it in the way they wanted it. Okay, let's do another one. Two. Two plus two Q equals four. All right, so we see addition and we see multiplication. So we're going to uh, subtract, right? But... Um, the way we see this is we say I, it's being added to the two. So I've got to subtract this two, right? So I get two Q is equal to two. Then I want to divide. So I'm going to divide. Notice the two by the divided by two goes away and we get one. Okay, so our answer is one. Brilliant. Let's do another one. Three equals b plus five over two. So we see that b is being added to five, but it's also being divided by two. So we need to multiply by two on both sides. We get six and that cancels. And we subtract five on both sides and we get B is one. That doesn't look right. All right, let's just go to my keyboard. We get one. Beautiful. Next question. We have P plus four Divide by three is three. So we see it's divide by three. So we're gonna multiply by three on both sides. This will cancel, leaving us P plus four, and this side is nine. Now we're gonna subtract four on both sides. So we get five. Beautiful. Okay, next one. M minus 16 over two is one. We see subtraction and division, so we're gonna multiply two on both sides. And we get one. And now we're gonna add. Oops. 
So I got a big long thing. Let's see if I can get this eraser to erase it. There we go. Sorry about that. And now we'll add 16. So we get, there I did it again. It's because my wrist, somehow it's touching my wrist, 18. So we get 18. Beautiful. I'm gonna call this last one. I think, well, no, I lie, I lie, I lie. Okay, maybe a couple more. Um, so let's add five to both sides, right? And then we'll divide by two on both sides. Voila. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm up to about 40. So I'm gonna call it good. Oh, ooh, maybe this one's good, maybe, maybe not. Okay, one more, one more, and more. Okay. I see Q is being divided by two and is also being added to five. So I can subtract five on both sides. So I have Q over two equals three. And then I see division, so I can multiply by two on both sides. And we get six. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us. Now I'm going to call it good. Take care, guys.